go out take a look at this the sun is out beautiful day here today absolutely gorgeous for a ride so we're gonna take the bike out for a ride today um, it was just near by my home and um, let's see how it goes let me set up the bike let's go still the early morning hours um, the kids are going to school can I get a club breakfast one club breakfast yep, so the breakfast is here this is like my um, this is like one of my favorite spots for breakfast. Sometimes in the morning, I would just ride. It's, it's like 3 km away from my home. All right, so with the ride, I've done about two significant rides. They were like 90 km and 70 plus, if I remember right. They were all done on the road. And then a lot of uh, short distance commuting, like riding here for breakfast. The long distance ones, usually I ride on the road, on the tarmac surface. Um, the condition here in Australia, Brisbane, is quite fair, I have to say. Um, the bike itself responds quite well. Um, the shifting brakes all works. Uh, when the brake pads are new, uh, when you pull it, it gives a bit of squeaking sound. But uh, once you run in, there's no sound with the braking at all. There's this thing that I, I, I would rather it to have a bigger chain ring, maybe just my riding style. I like to push it really hard most of the time. Um, so, but for most of the people, I guess it's good for city cruising, leisurely ride, down the bike path and all that would be fine. But if you really want to push this bike to the max, you will need to uh, have a bigger chain ring right at the crank. Uh, I would say a 54 or above to give you a uh, a good time yeah so the gear range is it does have a full range of gears so when there's a little bit of slope a little bit of hills going up um, if that's the way to lead you home it does have enough gear to bring you there for the saddle saddle is a very basic model I find that if I do any ride less than 15 km, I'm quite comfortable with it. But saddles are very personal, right? as you may all know. Um, some people do enjoy it, some people may not. So anything like 15 km ride, I, I, I'm quite comfortable with this saddle. Uh, you just have to set it flat. It keeps you on the bike quite stable. On the saddle mount, where the seat posts meet with the saddle, so they use a hanger type. It used two bolts to mount everything together. By adjusting those two bolts, it's very easy to adjust the angle of the saddle. I'm a big sucker for ODI's grips, like the hand handlebar grips. So when I first saw this bike, it comes with the ODI. It's, it's going to be super biased. No matter how it is, I will always like them. Yeah, but this one grips well, like um, I haven't got to the point that where my hand actually got sweaty so I wouldn't know if they were grippy uh, once your hand got swept. Right now the temperature here in Australia is like 20 degrees now, right now. Um, I, uh, the longer rides that I did were in the winter times, so I didn't have a chance to test it under like some extreme heat maybe in, in like 30 plus degrees, I don't know, but they seem to be doing quite well, they absorb I see them, they, sh they would be absorbing a little bit of sweat. And I like how they have that sticker tell you how to shift the gear. So with the internal gearing, you literally have to stop paddling to get the gear to change. With the external gearing, you have to keep paddling to uh, get the gear to shift. For the fun block, it, um, it's pretty much the standard stuff. It, it accepts all the standard uh, fun block supporting bags so I use a smaller waterproof bag and the larger one that's on my bike today to carry all the camera gears it locks quite well I can um, literally jump up and down the curbs it won't fly off so it's doing the job quite well as for the ride field I'm a big fan of all steel bike that steel ride fielding actually absorb a lot of the road micro vibrations Actually, it just feels nice to ride on a full steel bike. The paint job on the bike is very personal. I personally like a very plain, plain color bike. This one has a little dragon on it. If you like it, I mean, it gives a little bit pattern. You look different from all the others. But for myself, I really enjoy those plain color looking bikes. 
for the handle bar the this bike is on the M bar setting the bar itself is quite high if you compare to your saddle height I think most of people will find the bar is actually higher than the saddle itself this kind of configuration will give uh, the rider a very comfortable um, like sit up straight kind of ride um, it's very, very comfortable I'm a big fan of like a S flat bar so my saddle is always higher than the handle bar itself uh, you feel faster that way but if you're looking for comfortable ride this M bar definitely is a thing for you. So for the other little stuff like the hinge, it catches well, I mean it does its job. It does have this little round hollow hole where you can put your little finger in and help to dial the, the hinge lock a little bit faster. Yeah, so we have gone through some pros about the bike and there are some cons with the bike that I would, I would literally want the bike to improve to make it like a perfect ride. Maybe you can do this through some upgrades. With the seat post, it has the marking to tell you where it is. So you can remember where your setting was. The next time when you unfold the bike, you can just pull it to the setting that you want and enjoy. And that would be it. But there's this thing that scared me off. Like when you put a minimum insert, mark there and I had to pull way beyond that to fit my own needs um, that is a little bit scary I have to say like I am 178 centimeters my legs are relatively short to my height and I already go beyond the minimum insert if anyone's like taller than me might have a bit of scary moment there um, the second thing that I didn't like so much Maybe I'm a little bit picky here because sometimes it's function over look. Um, the, the seat post clamp clamps quite well, but because of the shim, the shim itself is a metal based shim. So when you pull or push the seat post back into the bike, it gives you this squeaky sound. It um, wasn't nice, so nice to hear. And the second thing that I didn't enjoy so much which I actually don't have a chance to um, test it to because the weather here is mostly very nice. The rear fender is rather short. It doesn't cover all the way back. If you actually ride in the wet, I would have guessed, I'm guessing, because I haven't went to try test it, water could be coming to your back. I'm sure there's some aftermarket fenders that you can get to have that rectified. So those two are the little nitpick I have to um, tell you guys. Um, if they get those two things fixed, um, or changed, the bike is completely rideable, completely fun to ride, definitely. All right, sometimes, sometimes we want to ride the bike beyond rideable, right? Make it nicer than nice. There are, let's say, two components that I would swap out. I would swap out the pedals. Not that this pedal doesn't help you to pedal the bike, it does. It folds well, it's, um, but it doesn't grip to the shoes very well. Um, it's fully plastic. I would rather put some metal base or bigger platform pedal that has more grip. This one definitely has not enough grip and it doesn't spin very well. The pedal itself doesn't spin very well. I don't know what's happening inside but it just doesn't spin very well. So you can swap them out for, for any aftermarket brands. And the other thing that I would like to swap out um, like a video that I did before, some of the critical upgrades on the block, on the bike itself, is the suspension block. Um, I'm a heavy kind of guy. The block on this bike definitely is not supporting me very well. Yeah, so I would like to have that swap out as well. But if you're lighter, easier, going for a more comfortable ride, the existing block might, might work for you. It's magical how a good suspension block would um, make the bike ride just level up that little bit, that much more enjoyable. So all in all, the steel frame gives it a very comfortable, let it's, let's say you feel enjoyable, feel safe to ride in it. There are some trifle bikes that I rode before, I don't even feel safe riding on it. This one served me just fine. So on the road, on the tarmac, it rides quite well. I would like to see a bigger chain ring to give me a faster ride. There are little parts that I suggested that you can actually have that swap out and it will improve your ride so much. 
Yeah, I think that about sums up how I feel about this bike. I hope you um, enjoy it. By no means I am a professional reviewer. This is just how I feel about the bike. I hope you enjoy the vids. And um, yeah, so I hope I can make more videos like this to you guys very soon. So I've got to continue with my breakfast. And here we are, dash.